What's up, YouTube world? We got a new sheriff in town, a new hybrid build that's viable, that's fun to play, that's different. Is it as good as a lightning sork? No. But let me show you guys the, uh, all the areas that I've been running with this fun new build that's been avail that's available here in 2.4. So this is a hybrid Frost Nova Hydra build. We are using Infinity. Well, Carbon, why don't you just go Nova since you have Infinity? Well, I want to be different. I want to do something fun and utilize the new Hydra and utilize the new Frost Nova damage. So we have Treachery, Andariel's Visage, Infinity, pretty standard stuff here. And then we got a Death's Fathom, Shaco. Oh, this is the MF variant. I'm wearing three piece towels. Your spirit, uh, some MF boots, um, faster cast ring, SOJ, and Mage Fist. I do have a bunch of cold skillers because Frost Nova is our main damage dealer. This torch is just uh, a stat stick. It's not, um, it doesn't have plus work skills on it. So this has even more damage potential because you can get like two more skillers, an Annie, a torch. Uh, on swap, we have CTA and a spirit. I showed the skills just enough to wear spirit for the the stats so you're like hmm well show me what you can run with this check this out you could run anything you want anything you want you say you want bail sure you got bail you got it the problem we have here though is uh this build is very mana hungry I'd say that's pretty fast for a CC skill. Hopefully get some mana pots here. There we go. Here's a little bunch of density. Sayonara, homegirls. Downside of this build with infinity, you don't have insight, right? Good, I was hoping there'd be a bunch of cold immunes. What's that? Cold immunes? Let's drop our hydras down. Sayonara, cold immunes. Ogre gauntlets. Could have been. Bail one. Goodbye. So, a cool thing you could do here is uh, you could drop your six hydras. Static a few times. Cross Nova. Remember those days farming with Blizzard and dealing with those stupid skeletons? Same thing here. Six Hydras. Static a few times, Frost Nova. Sayonara. Teleport away for the Hydras. It's not it's not the super safest build. But it's fun to play. And you got variety. I mean, look at that. That's... Is it a P8 build? No. But it's fun. And you could shoot him with a frozen orb because that's a synergy. Synergy to... Uh... Nova. So if you need to distance yourself, you could drop Hydras and you shoot Frozen Orbs at the at the mobs. And now surprisingly, Hydra just by itself does a good boss damage. 
So we'll static him, we'll drop our hydras, and then we'll shoot him. Hey! Nice drop. Not too shabby. I actually need that on my holy grail. Rip holy grail. <laughs> Feels bad, man. What's that? You want to do a seal pop? On a frost nova sorceress? Sure, why not? Let's do it. Oh, that looks really dangerous. Is it as safe as Blizzard? No, it's not. What, is it more fun than Blizzard? Absolutely. Does it eat your mana? Absolutely. Let's clear this out a little bit. See cold immunes? Now watch them die. No more cold immunes. Eh, it's not a bad charm. So that right here is dangerous. You could thin out the herd a little bit. Use your frost, your frozen orb. All right, there goes, what's his name? The Sace. Shoot some frozen orbs in there. Okay, we're ready for the pop. This is a really dense pot, man. Let's check our pot. Nothing too interesting. Lay down your hydras. Static. Sayonara Diablo. Isn't that cool? That is so cool that a new build is possible now. What's that? You want to farm regular 85 areas? Okay. You want to go do uh, ancient tunnels? Do we have a mana pot? No. That's the downside of this build. Mana. But I think with maybe with some silk weaves, it might alleviate that a little bit. There is a mana pot. Is that it? Oh, we didn't press the chest, did we? Silk, silk weaves would go a long way here. What's that? You want to go farm the pits on a Frost Nova Sorceress? Sure, why not? Here's the pits. Pressing the wrong button there. Oh, let me let me re rebuff here. gonna have to learn your immunities Oof, those archers though now I would never farm pits on this build I don't think just because there's too many variants Maybe I would. Maybe if I learn the the monster types and the resistances. It right, looks like we had a dead end there. Let's go up this way.
Easy. Pits done. What else can I show you guys? Maybe some Trav? Now the mercenary is going to get clunked here, but... Oh, he got healed. Now, is that safe? Probably not. Something different is fun in Diablo 2. Oh, City of the Damned? Sure, why not? Good 84 area. Should have been bumped up to 85. Oh, no, he's fire immune. Or cold immune. Hydras? Sure. Oh, this looks like you can farm here and Nova Sorcerers can't. Those guys are lightning immune. I ran out of pots, though. The downside of this build. You get the idea, though. Is my mercenary invisible? Kind of, he's got fade on. What else can I go show you? Stony Tomb? She completely destroys Stony Tomb. Are you always a burning girl? Oh my god, the destruction! It's unreal! Wow! We skipped a little area, but I don't think there was any packs there. Grim Shield! Wow! The MF is finally paying off. We need to rebuff. Complete and utter destruction. Okay, so here's... I forgot to actually go over the full build. Here's here's my thought process and, and the build. So we're doing Frost Nova and maxing the two synergies. And then we're putting one point in a Cold Mastery because we have Infinity. With Infinity and... All these plus skills one point is enough okay and then so that gives us our 1200 damage frost nova and it gives us a 650 damage frozen orb which is really good for bosses it's good to take out monsters from distance if you think they're dangerous um we also got frozen armor and your lightning skills you got your your standard stuff st static telekinesis teleport here i did i maxed hydra and then I put a little bit of points here, and I think I put a few points there. Um, I think it's better to just do full fire mastery. I don't know the math, but it'd probably be around the same kind of damage. Um, so with this, we have an 886 Hydra, uh, which does, when you put six of them down and three heads are shooting, it's, it does a lot of damage, actually. It, it looks deceiving. Uh, it's very strong. Anyways, YouTube, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, Try out this build. I highly recommend. Uh, it's really fun. And don't forget to leave a like. And have a good day.